So you know how Google Maps has that street view guy that you can select and kind of drag and wiggle around and then drop them somewhere? Well, I want to make the same animation in Blender, which isn't exactly obvious how to do that because uh, we need to get this guy to wiggle. So this tutorial is about how do you make objects, especially 2D objects like this image of a yellow guy, uh, how do we make them wiggle? Well, that's a good question. Let me show you. Uh, all you're going to need for this uh, tutorial is an add-on called Wiggle Bones. Link in the description. It's free. Uh, go to add-ons. Once you've installed it, uh, go to Wiggle Bone and make sure this is enabled. Um, other than that, we're good to go. Uh, so I'm going to start off by importing my... Um, I'm using images as planes. You could just do it uh, the slow way, but I recommend this way. I'm just going to start off by importing my image, but you could do this to whatever it is you want to wiggle. And you can see, fast way to do it. It's basically an image with an alpha applied. And this is what we want to wiggle. Well, the way we're going to do this is we're basically going to create an armature, and that armature is going to have the wiggle bones add on. To get that armature to simulate, basically, uh, we need more geometry to work with. So I'm going to subdivide, subdivide, subdivide again and again and again. Um, and the reason I'm doing this is so that we have more geometry to work with. Now, what we can do is we can add an armature. And this armature, what it's going to let us do is, um, you know, create the skeleton of this guy. Uh, so it seems like we need to flip this by 180 degrees. And I'm just going to basically, I'm going to position this up top. I'm basically going to just draw out what this guy uh, should look like, his anatomy. So I'm just moving this um, on the z-axis and then E. You just hit the end point, right? So I just click this end point or this point, uh, E to extrude. And I'm just creating a very basic skeleton. Doesn't need to be physically accurate. In fact, what I can do is I can have one leg have like two bones and I can have one leg have one bone, as you can see, it really doesn't matter. And uh, what I want to do with this is with this armature, I want to, first of all, parent it. So I'm going to select the object, shift click, control P, automatic weights, uh, such that now uh, when we go into pose mode, into pose mode and we move a bone you can see it's deforming it kind of not perfectly but you know what are you going to do um once we have that we want to make sure that our armature has uh, wiggle bones uh, to do that select your armature in the uh, armature settings uh, make sure wiggle armature is enabled if it isn't click that next uh, in pose mode you can select all your bones with a in the bone settings make sure wiggle bone is enabled maybe uh, let's take one of these bones like the head where we're going to grab them by and let's uh, disable it there. Uh, but so this way, um, all our bones are wiggle bones except for the top one. What this is gonna do is when we hit play, you can now see this thing has physics and he's hanging from his head because that's the only bone that isn't uh, jiggly. You can see we get very organic animation. In fact, uh, we can control this if we go into the wiggle bone settings. Uh, you see we have gravity, stretching, whatever. I'm just gonna select a couple of these bones randomly so it doesn't look the same everywhere. And with these, I'm going to increase the stiffness. Now, what, we're, we, what we uh, should have is when we click play is something that looks a bit more dynamic, like the legs aren't necessarily moving the same way. And he just kind of looks more, I don't know, more alive or something. In fact, what we can do is we can add an empty. I'm just going to put it roughly where the head is. Uh, do this auto animation thing. Click play, move it around as if I'm animating it. And then finally, armature, parent it to the empty. So. Mesh, parented to the armature, parented to the empty. And you can see, we got a jiggly boy. He looks pretty cool. And that, that's the essence of how you do it, right? You take it, uh, you render this thing with motion blur, and it's going to look legit. Um, but you can tweak with the settings and all that. So I just wanted to show how wiggle bones could be used for something like this, because I think it looks pretty dank. Uh, beyond that, though, I think that's kind of the essence of the tutorial. It was a short one, so we'll wrap up. Uh, I just like to say at the end of these, I'll keep it short since it's a uh, short tutorial. Uh, Patreon exists. There's a link in the description. There's 760 of you. Uh, if you want to support this channel and CG Matter and you want to get early access to tutorials, uh, blend files like this one, hundreds of other blends I've made, project files, and exclusive tutorials, there's a way to do that. You just click the link in the description. But either way, uh, hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you learned something about Wiggle Bones. Um, I think I'm going to use it in some future projects which is why I just wanted to give a bit of a precursor uh, before it kind of comes out of nowhere. So enjoy.